Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. It was requested by a viewer named Jason to show uh, some of the best Bruce Springsteen box sets. So uh, I'm focusing on three amazing box sets um, on individual albums. Um, so two days ago, I did uh, really like an unboxing of the 2015 box set, The Ties That Binds, The River Collection, and I went through that whole thing. Today, I'm going to be doing a really cool box set. It came out five years earlier in 2010, and this is uh, the Darkness on the Edge of Town box set, which is called The Promise. There you go, The Promise, The Darkness on the Edge of Town story. And I have never seen a box set that looks like that. So we're going to go through it, and you can see... Well, let, let's go through it. It's got three CDs, and it's got three DVDs. So what do you got? The first disc is a remastered version of Darkness on the Edge of Town, which sounds really great. Um, then you got a two-CD set of outtakes, which is called The Promise. And we're going to go through all of this. Then you got a DVD called The Promise, the Making of Darkness on the Edge of Town. Um, and you can see that. It's got chapters, and that is 90 minutes, give or take, 88 minutes, uh, including surround sound. So, you know, Springsteen does amazing jobs of these documentaries. They're movies. So this is a 90-minute movie just on the making of Darkness on the Edge of Town. It's awesome. Then you got DVD 2 which is a live concert recorded in 2009, I guess specifically for the box set, where he's got the current E Street Band playing Darkness on the Edge of Town its entirety. And that's about an hour long right there. In addition on that DVD, you got some extras, and you can see it right there. Uh, from the Thrill Hill Vault, 76 through 78, Save My Love, Homedale, Candy's Boys, Something in the Night, Red Bank, don't look back. You can see what's on there. And then at the end, it carries over on the, over there, if I can see. Uh, you get those amazing uh, videos from Phoenix. You know the Rosalita video, but you also get Born to Run and Prove It All Night. So that second disc is approximately, you know, 59 minutes of those extras over there plus another 24 minutes, another 35 minutes. These discs are fully loaded. You get a ton of stuff. And if that's not enough, disc three, if I can see it, and if you can see it, disc three, you get right there, is a bootleg house cut of a whole concert from Houston 78, right there. And that thing is a whopping three hours, 178, 76 minutes. That's three hours, the whole concert, from Houston 78. Amazing. That's what's in this Darkness on the Edge of Town box set. Besides the incredible, you know, music and video that's in here, I never seen a box that looks like this. So let's go through it. You take it out, and this whole thing is just a slipcase. We already saw this. All that material is in a giant spiral bound notebook which is obviously a reproduction of the actual, or at least one, or many, of Springsteen's actual notebooks. And it is so cool. It's one. You can see it on the back. You got scribbling notes right there. It looks all worn. <laughs> it's so, so cool how they did this. I've never seen something like this. So let's go through it, and uh, let's do it. So it opens up. Right here. Well, before we open it up, uh, it's got a card on the documentary, and this is the hype sticker when I bought it new. And again, I think this was 2010. So this explains everything that's on it, so you can see it. Sorry for the glare. Limited edition deluxe collection. I think you can get it still. Uh, it may be going for a pricey amount, but you'll have to decide if, if it's worth it. So when you open up this thing, what you get here is you get a book. And it kind of looks like that Promise cover, which we'll go through. And this is lyrics. Um, so uh, I'm not going to focus too much on them, because there are plenty more of these to go in the, uh, in the box you're going to see. 
So these are typed out lyrics, some photographs, some great shots. And um, these are all lyrics of uh, the unreleased tracks. Some of them, anyway. Maybe all of them. So the unreleased tracks, really nicely done. Again, I've never been the kind of person who sits there and reads the lyrics, but certainly a lot of people are. And if you are, you would love this. And then you get the credits. So this is the booklet that is kind of buried in here. Let's put this away and let's go through this actual box. And I'm actually going to get closer to you guys so uh, we can do this so you can kind of see. So it opens up like that. And basically, you got uh, kind of an introduction on the promise, the darkness on the edge of town story. And what you can't really grasp, maybe, is that these pages are kind of like notebook pages. You can see, you know, it's a, a spiral-bound notebook, but it, it even smells like a spiral-bound notebook. It's a damnedest thing. And then you get handwritten lyrics which you need better eyes than I have to actually be able to read these. But there it is. Spring Scenes original. There's Badlands. You know, Cross Outs. This is just from the actual notebooks. I mean, I think this is like really cool. You know, something in a night. You know, there it is. And you even get to this is really cool for me. I may not sit there and read lyrics, but I'm totally into this. Like his worksheet. You know, what tracks are going to be on the album? What's going to be the order, you know, and that's throughout this. You're going to, you see, he's such an artist. He works so hard on his albums to make them exactly, you know, what he wants them to be. Uh, not to compare, you 2s kind of the same way, you know, like they just take after take, song after song, delete this, dump the whole album. It, it's fascinating, you know. You saw that in the Ties I Bind, you know, with, that was going to be, originally a single album and then he put it off for a year so uh and there's a, a cool one it says album number four so he's clearly trying to figure out what songs are going to be on there and it's really pretty cool and then you get to this page so this is now part of the spiral bound and there you have it uh and i love how he did it this is the digitally remastered version of of course darkness on the edge of town that fits perfectly in there, in Boston there. Really nicely done, you know, it, it's so much better instead of just a loose CD. And it even has the inner sleeve, which is great. And then the CD looks like this. So all the care in the world has gone into this, uh, into this album. So there's a Darkness on the Edge of Town on there, and you still have, you know, worksheets, the more notes, and then you flip that one over, and you get, you know, more notes that he keeping track of the songs really cool you know and you look at this you could see songs that showed up later on songs that didn't make it sherry darling of course later on the river uh really cool so really cool and then it keeps going more handwritten stuff back to the spiral bound notebook and it's just it smells like it it's just so cool Love it. Ramrod. More lyrics. Some more notes. You're going to see there's a note on Sherry Darling. And another Drive All Night. I mean, if you're a Springsteen fanatic, I mean, this is just like priceless stuff, man. Look at this. You know, there's a reproduction, you know, and here the original notebook obviously was missing part of that page so you could see what was on the next page but they reproduced it that way it's so cool and that's the the next page so they go in order and that's you know left over from the other page so and again more song titles and laying out what song should be on there track lengths he's working so hard on figuring out what he's going to do on this album there's some more lyrics streets of fire promised land darkness you get a thing there called New Songs. I mean, you could just spend days, weeks, just studying this. As you can see, all in his original handwriting, reproduced from his original notebook. I just think this is amazing. 
more track listings, trying to figure out what's going to be in the album. And then you get to the next discs. And what you have here is The Promise. And this is a two CD set of the outtakes. And it looks like that. And you can go inside and there's the disc like that. This one, disc two. And there's the unreleased tracks that are on this box. And there's a hidden track as well after that. So uh, the cool thing about this that I thought was really great, uh, you don't find these really on tracks. So this is really cool. Like this is, you know, the, the River one had 22 outtakes, but 11 of them were on tracks. So this one, you get two CDs. Really, this is the place you're going to get them. And... I guess because it was limited initially to this box, Springsteen put it out for general release, and I might as well show you. Here is the promise, the released version outside of the box, which I bought also. It's exactly the same, different layout. It does have all the lyrics and some great photographs and all the lyrics. Really, really well done. And then you got the two discs. There's one disc, and there's the other disc and the same track listing. So it is literally the same promise that's in this box, but you can buy it retail for those people who didn't want to spend the money or have the money to buy this amazing box. So that was a, a good move. And then if you're a completist kind of like me, you wound up buying it twice, but because I'm, I'm an idiot, I guess. Uh, look at this. this it, can you see this? It looks like it, this is all one page. It's just so beautifully done. I mean, it's goddamn magnificent what he has done and all these notes and then what you get over here you start getting typed out lyrics for the actual songs that are on the river on the river on the darkness on the edge of town love that you know you get the ampex uh labels candy's room you got the type lyrics if you can see that this is so cool right Looks like a cassette. That's, you know, a cassette. So he's even reproducing his actual cassettes. Photograph, there's the lyrics to The Promised Land, one of my favorite Springsteen tracks. And Factory and Streets of Fire. So we are deep into the album. There's another cassette. How cool is that? You know, he copied his actual cassettes, his working tapes. Fast song, fire, didn't make the album. New ballad. This is like so cool. The boss. There's another cassette. New rocker. Gotta get that feeling. Talk to me. Well, we know that one, right? He gave that away to uh, Southside Johnny. So this is just really cool. Then you get over here, and now we're getting into the DVDs. And this is the first DVD. And this is The Promise The Making of Darkness on the Edge of Town. And this is just awesome. Like I said, it's a 90-minute movie. And it's really a movie. Springsteen does great documentaries about himself, uh, as you know. And that's what that is. And then it keeps going on the flip side. Just magnificent. I mean, it looks like tape. It, it, you feel like it's a real notebook. Look at this. There's photographs mixed in. And obviously, in his notebooks, this was taped. And it looks like it's tape, but it's not. It's just great. Photographs and handwritten notes and just, uh, look at it, paper clipped. But it, of course, it's not really paper clipped. But, you know, this is like hanging out in Springsteen's house and giving you access to his priceless notebooks. And in this case, for Darkness on the Edge of Town. Just amazing. I, I, I don't think I have, uh, have seen a box set like this. I certainly don't have another box set that's like this so new ballad and this is heading towards the end photographs from the album shoot the bands and then we get to another dvd and this was the modern day at that time 2009 version of the e street band and they specially did in its entirety darkness on the edge of town which is kind of cool and obviously the band's amazing and that's like an hour long and then the flip side of that is this. Same DVD, but he's giving you his the money's worth, man. He's loading these things up with more live footage through from 76 to 78, including, you know, the uh, Phoenix, Arizona stuff, which is great. 
because everybody knew that Rosalita video. So um, we keep going on the flip side of that. And we're still not done, guys. We are still not done. Love these things. You know I'm a clipping guy, and that's great. Some more some photographs you can probably see. And another ad right there that, that he's got a photo in front of. Um, in the background, you can see an ad for the Capitol Theater. And now you get into some reviews. Springsteen hot in spite of the weather. And there's the Winterland ad. And some other stuff. We're not done yet in this thing. He is giving it to all. We get to the back. And another DVD. And this is amazing. This is the Houston 78 bootleg video cut. It's not the highest quality. It's a house cut. But it is still amazing, and it's three hours long. I mean, typical spring scene concert, right? 1978, the whole concert from uh, Houston in 1978. Yep. Uh, three hours. So uh, that's the final disc, and that is actually the back of the box. And that's the end of the uh, thing. So, you know, I put the lyric thing in here and the hype sheet, the hype sticker. Let me put that back. And this thing, all in one beautiful spiral bound notebook, fits perfectly into the outer box. And that is The Promise, The Darkness on the Edge of Town story. This amazing box set from Springsteen that came out in 2010. Uh, three CDs, three DVDs, um, you know, if you love Spring Scene and you love Darkness, I, you know, when it comes to individual album box sets, you know, I talk about Jethro Tull, I talk about those mega who boxes up there, but again, so far as you've seen, I did the video for The River and now for Darkness on the Edge of Town, really what more can you want? I mean, he's given it to you, and at least at the time when I bought that, I thought it was a, a very fair price. Now, the amazing thing about the 78 tour, as much as there's stuff in here, there's endless amount of Springsteen stuff. So if you're a big fan, and I'm a big fan, you know, there's tons more stuff. Here's a bootleg DVD I have of Springsteen East Street Band from Landover. This is also, you know, a house recording bootleg. Um, so when it comes to the 78 tour, um, I I was not a huge spring, spring scene fan in 78. I I really became a much a big fan really around the river. So but I remember when Darkness came out and I was really familiar with one of my best friends is a huge spring scene fan even then. Um so it was really in retrospect, but my friend gave me um the uh live Winterland bootleg album and that just blew me away and ever since then you know i have here's a, a bootleg of the roxy when he was doing that tour and he was playing the the biggest arenas like the garden and the spectrum and all of those but then he was playing those smaller shows and he was putting them out on the radio and he would actually say all right bootleggers get ready to record it and these are and here's a another one here's a Passaic. And uh, so these have a, these are all boot. This one's actually like a gray market bootleg, but these are, um, in my opinion, uh, amongst the greatest recordings by anybody. I mean, Spring Scene in '78, it, it, it's just incredible. Here's the Agora in Cleveland, another bootleg I have. You know, Summertime Blues. They're all, of course, at Spring Scene, so they're all a little bit different. Here's another bootleg, uh, the Second Night at the Capitol. These are all bootlegs recordings of those 78 tour shows and really they're so incredible and they're like three hours long and darkness on the edge of town to me is better live you know like things like you know the promised land and uh, although i love the promised land and um the badlands you know when I first heard the album from my friend Sandy, you know, I was like, ah, you know, I still don't think the original production was that great. It was just lacking something, at least initially, back in 78 to me. And 78 was such a strong year. I, I think 78 was maybe the best year in the history of rock, at least in for my generation. So, uh, and in actual fact, you know, Darkness on the Edge of Town 
when it came out three years after Born to Run um, over there, it didn't sell as well as Born to Run. And they actually released three singles from Darkness, which was uh, Badlands, Prove It All Night, and um, there was a third one as well. Uh, none of them, only one of them. Um, what was the other one? Badlands, Promised Land, Prove It All Night. Those were the three. None of them were a hit. Only one of them went top 40, and I think it was in the mid-30s. Uh, so, and the album, I think, peaked at number five, but it didn't sell as much as Born to Run. So it's become a grower over the time, and, and really it's one of my go-to Springsteen albums for sure, and most Springsteen fans. But really, when I want to listen to Darkness, I pretty much will go with the live albums because they're just those live bootlegs are incredible. So uh, let me know your thoughts, but if you like Springsteen and you like Darkness on the Edge of Town, I don't know how it is any way around not getting um, this box. If it's still available, let me know. I'm not sure, and I don't know the pricing of it. I got it when it came out in uh, 2015, so maybe uh, it's a collector's item now. Maybe it goes for a ton of money. Hopefully not. But uh, it's another amazing box and another great example of, you know, how to do a box set on uh, individual albums, you know, just given everything. Uh, it's phenomenal. So I hope you agree. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I appreciate your loyalty. I appreciate you watching my channel. I love the comments. So send me some comments. Let me know your thoughts on Darkness on the Edge of Town, the promise, the box set. And um, love to hear about it. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Stay safe. Stay healthy. If you're new to my channel or if you're not new but you haven't subscribed, help little old Alan Rosenberg out. Let's get this channel a little bit bigger. I'm doing this four years. Um, and that would be a good thing. But uh, as always, thank you so much. Have a great night. I'll see you next time on Alan Rosenberg Show.